paint another water lily uh, painting. I had a request for water lilies, so um, I'm going to use black emerald burgundy and um, a very pale um, cream. And then I'm going to make some creams with some um, white and raw sienna. So, but first of all, the first thing I want to do is put down some beautiful um, colours. I need some blues. So I'll use some ultramarine and this lovely emerald. I want it quite dark, so. Now there's going to be lots of coats, so what I'll do is I'll do this off camera and I'm just putting on some, it's got to be very, very thick as well, so just randomly putting on some greens and blues. I might get a yellow as well and make some greens, you know, uh, mix some greens. So I'll just do this off camera. There'll be three coats of varying shades of green and blue. And I'll show you that when I get back. Okay, I'm back. Right. So I've just put three coats of varying shades of green and blue on the on the card um, and obviously I'm using acrylics so there we are uh, right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some oh I'm going to put in some lights and I'm going to use um, a sort of silvery grey metallic and just put in some strokes like this and always go over them see what that looks like Nice. Leave that a bit lighter and place this. There. Just here and there. Right, just to suggest, um, you know, different lights and shades on the, on, the, um, on the water and then I'm going to go like this and scratch through it a little bit just here and there, you can always change that Right, next thing I'm going to do. Now, I'll use a slightly lighter green. I need a small brush as well. I wonder what that would be like. Oh, yeah. That's nice. There. You can always change that bit there. I don't like that. So I'll just oh, let's try a bit of cream as well. And then
then I'll get a tissue and uh, soften that. Better let that dry. Okay, so I need a brush now, smaller one. Let's see what can I use. Maybe this one. Dry it. Okay, now I'm going to use a slightly lighter. I'm going to try and make bigger ones actually this time. Just put in the rough shapes and then we can um, we can change the colour. Use this lighter one to start with. And then go over with with a different shape like that. There. And put in some dots of dark as well. Not dots, but yeah. just a bit of darks. There. There. Now we'll just keep doing that. They all done have to be that shape. You can just put in like random shapes like that.
make a really beautiful gorgeousness. And then we'll go over like this, like this. Now this is a, a gorgeous burgundy colour that I mixed with black, crimson, a touch of ultramarine as well. There, you're looking for shapes rather than just think of shapes, not not petals really as such. Just shapes. We can always go over things. Now I'm gonna do some buds here. So I put the beautiful cream. They're like little buds. I love that cream. It's raw sienna it is. And um, um, a cream that I mixed before, which is raw sienna and white, but it's very pale. And now I've made it darker with this beautiful mess. There's some little buds coming out, see? Just shapes again. Right, I think we'll do another one of those. Lovely gorgeousness. Again, just some shapes. And I've got a little bit of pink mixed into that. Uh, cream, which turned out beautifully. There. Um, I might go off that actually. Make it a bit thicker. Make those thicker. Yeah, it's rather nice. Do the same here. There. Right, I think we'll put some more little random marks here. some tarps in there. Just try different things. You know. Always try different different things. 
different shapes.
Right, I think. I think. can't decide whether just to go over these with a bit of white. Or not. Mm. Just like that. Mm. Right, I think we're going to call that quits. It's supposed to be an easy um, lesson. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'll, I'll take the tape off and come right, right back and have a look what it looks like and see. We can see the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well there we are. There's the finished painting. And what I'll probably do with this, it's not quite dry, what I'll probably do with it is varnish it. Because even though it's going under glass, they look gorgeous varnished. And I won't do that now, but before I, before I put it on my gallery for sale, I'll do that. So I hope you've got a good view of that. Like I said, it's a little bit wet in the, on the leaves. But there we are. So that's a nice, easy, easy uh, painting for people. And I think that would look gorgeous in a bedroom or on a landing or in a bathroom. It would look really, really lovely. So there we are. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, it would be lovely if you could like, share and subscribe to my channel. The channel can be supported by Super Thanks. And with that, I'll say bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.